Green Stick Fracture, Wikipedia Audio A green stick fracture is a fracture in a young, soft bone in which the bone bends and breaks. Green stick fractures usually occur most often during infancy and childhood when bones are soft. The name is by analogy with green wood which similarly breaks on the outside when bent. It was discovered by British-American orthopedist, John N. Sal, and Polish-American orthopedist, Michael Slopecki. Pediatric fractures can be classified as complete and incomplete. There are also physial fractures. The Salter-Harris classification is the most used to describe these fractures. Classification Some clinical features of a green stick fracture are similar to those of a standard long bone fracture. Green stick fractures normally cause pain at the injured area. As these fractures are specifically a pediatric problem, an older child will be protective of the fractured part and babies may cry inconsolably. As per a standard fracture, the area may be swollen and either red or bruised. Green stick fractures are stable fractures as a part of the bone remains intact and unbroken so this type of fracture normally causes a bend to the injured part, rather than a distinct deformity, which is problematic. The green stick fracture pattern occurs as a result of bending forces. Activities with a high risk of falling are risk factors. Non-accidental injury more commonly causes spiral fractures but a blow on the forearm or shin could cause a green stick fracture. The fracture usually occurs in children and teens because their bones are flexible, unlike adults whose more brittle bones usually break. Incomplete, there are three basic forms of incomplete fractures, the first is the green stick fracture, a transverse fracture of the cortex which extends into the mid portion of the bone and becomes oriented along the longitudinal axis of the bone without disrupting the opposite cortex, the second form is a torus or buckling fracture, caused by impaction. They are usually the result of a force acting on the longitudinal axis of the bone, they are typically a consequence of a fall on an outstretched arm, so they mainly involve the distal radial metaphysis. The word torus is derived from the Latin word torus, meaning swelling or protuberance, the third is a bow fracture in which the bone becomes curved along its longitudinal axis. Removable splints result in better outcomes than casting in children with torus fractures of the distal radius. If a person is doing better after four weeks, repeat x-rays are not needed. Evidence for green stick fractures found in the fossil record is studied by paleopathologists, specialists in ancient disease and injury. Green stick fractures have been reported in fossils of the large carnivorous dinosaur Allosaurus fragilis. Green stick fractures are found in the fossil remains of Lucy, the most famous specimen of Australopithecus afarensis, discovered in Ethiopia in 1974. Analysis of bone fracture patterns which include a large number of green stick fractures in the forearms, lower limbs, pelvis, thorax, and skull, suggest that Lucy died from a vertical fall and impact with the ground. Signs and Symptoms Pathogenesis and Risk Factors Treatment Fossil Record <laughs>